Hello, welcome back to Unraveled Beer Thoughts. Uh, I'll try to get my camera straight here. We're in uh, Texas. I don't know what this is. Ice storm pandemic. Uh, it was down to, I think I woke up this morning, negative six degrees. Wow. So, appropriately, for a negative six degree day, I have Great Divide Hibernation. This is one of my favorite beers every year when I see it on the shelf. I'd say I probably grab a couple. Um, I think this year I bought three, four packs, maybe something like that. I've had it several times. But uh, Great Divide is a great brewery. They brew my favorite beer of all, Yeti, which I haven't actually been able to find for, I don't know, probably, I want to say it's been about six months since I had one in my fridge and was able to find one at the store. I think I found one the last time I was at the store and got it. And I haven't found like a four pack or anything in a while. So I'm missing some Yeti. Uh, so if you watch this video, um, you know, I would say don't even give it a like. Just ship me some Yeti and that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, Hibernation Ale is by Great Divide. Same folks that make Yeti. Uh, probably my second favorite beer from them. Um, very, very, very good beer. Uh, it's called an English style old ale. I've always kind of had a little bit of like a, uh, I don't know if it's an old ale because it's not really, there's no sour note to it, which I typically expect a little bit of sour twang to an old ale. This doesn't have that. This one is nutty. Uh, it's got some hops in it. It is, uh, I'd say medium bodied probably. Uh, I don't know if I call it full-bodied. Some might feel like it's drinking a loaf of bread, uh, possibly, but uh, to me it seems like uh, I've had beers that are just thicker than this, so I would probably say medium to full, somewhere in there, somewhere between medium and full. Um, nutty, uh, just like a, I don't know, I think like a bowl of Christmas nuts and the flavor of all those nuts together or the, the aroma of those nuts to some degree, maybe in a beer. Uh, so good. Um, more of the hard, nuttier nuts, probably not your cashews that have a little sweetness, but more of the nuts like a walnut and a, and a, a little bit of pecan and um, just a good mixture of, of nuts. got good hoppiness. It's got great balance. Uh, hibernation Ale, man. I just love this beer. Uh, I don't think it's for everybody. Uh, I, I don't know that folks typically like it as much as I do. Uh, Yeti is not, I don't hear any of the video else saying Yeti is their favorite. It's just my favorite. Um, and I love how they're, it's a Russian Imperial Stout, basically, the Yeti is. And I think this hibernation ale sort of takes after that, where it's they definitely favor the bitterness more uh, than other breweries might. I think a lot of breweries are going more sweet these days when it comes to ales like this and stouts, or maybe even they'd swing toward the sour side. And I really like the Great Divide. It goes with the bitterness. Um, maybe it's because my heart is bitter. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't really think it's bitter. But it's a great beer. I highly recommend it. Great Divide, hibernation ale. If you enjoyed the video, uh, shoot me a like and uh, definitely make some comments, uh, maybe even make some beer suggestions. If there's something you want me to drink that you know is in Texas and I can get my hands on, uh, I'd be happy to do a tasting um, and try to do a comparison with a couple of different beers and uh, just uh, give you my thoughts on that. So have a great uh, rest of February. I hope you're warm where you are and have uh, ongoing power and not rolling blackouts like we're having here in Texas. So uh, good fun. Uh, have a great evening.